Now, ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker's teaser trailer, it left a lot of people wondering exactly what's going on with Emperor Palpatine and his return in this movie by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie that really has me puzzled as a fan is, of course, Emperor Palpatine and his laugh at the very end of the movie. Now, mind you, we have been going over the numerous leaks the past six to seven months involving Palpatine in the form of a hologram, dream sequences, vision sequences, and something to do with a different realm that is very similar to that of the worlds between worlds that Rey and Kylo Ren go through at a certain point in time in this movie. So, what's really intriguing to me the most about Palpatine is what we actually learned a little bit over the past couple of days, all thanks to JJ, Kathleen Kennedy, and everybody else involved with this movie. And what's really intriguing about Emperor Palpatine is that it's described that Palpatine in the film will be used as a significant role to the evolving MacGuffin in the film that will move the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren forward through the story. It's described that Palpatine and his involvement with the evolving plot device is something that will change the entire original trilogy and how fans view a certain moment in the films. Additionally, it's said this plot device will be significant to the story that is connected to Palpatine and will change certain lore in the Skywalker saga and in the general canon. So, I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this and how it really kind of leaves me a little worried about what's coming our way and how Palpatine is going to be used in this movie. Now, let's say if the ultimate plan really is to bring him back now that he is a part of the evolving plot device that is going to be used in Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. This is a plot device that's going to be used in order to move the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey forward through the story and is associated with a new threat. So, with that being said, alright, the fact that Palpatine is a part of the MacGuffin, it does raise a ton of questions now as to exactly what his place in the movie really is. Is he going to come back to life, or, from the leaks that we have been going over, is he going to be a mere hologram, vision, dream sequences, and or in a different realm that Kylo Ren and Rey go through that's very similar to the worlds between worlds. Nonetheless, as we went over yesterday, Palpatine is not going to be a mere cameo in this movie. He is going to be quite significant to the story, and it's the main reason as to why they threw his laughter in at the very end of the movie, and when we got the dark theme playing against the Rise of Skywalker logo once it was revealed. So, the thing about Palpatine is this. You guys may recall Kathleen Kennedy and JJ revealed just two days ago that this was in the cards for a very long time. Supposedly, right? Uh, this was in the cards for a very long time and it was George Lucas uh, that they consulted with who, of course, how they should come up with Palpatine in Episode 9, exactly like how he should return. You know, essentially it was in the cards for a long time that he would eventually come back, but they weren't quite sure how he would come back, specifically. So, with Emperor Palpatine's laughter in the background, it does leave a lot of fans wondering what's really going on. Are they going to make the power of Essence Transfer canon under Disney, where a Force user is able to transfer his own consciousness using the dark side into a younger clone body, or into another body itself? If you guys read the Dark Horse Dark Empire comic series, uh, you'll even learn a piece of dialogue that's rather creepy where Luke Skywalker's talking to Palpatine about Essence Transfer, and Palpatine even tells a young Luke around the age of 26 in that comic, he even tells him, or I could even be you. And Palpatine says that to Luke Skywalker, so... There's a lot of wacky things that J.J. Abrams could really do in Star Wars, as we have seen, you know, the crazy things that were done in Westworld, which J.J. Abrams, by the way, was attached to. There's a lot of crazy twists and turns in that TV series, let me tell you. And you can only imagine how J.J. would apply those ideas to, of course, Episode 9. So, with that being said, guys, I will say that Palpatine, you know, he is one of my favorite characters who's pretty up there, I will admit. Pretty up there with Darth Vader, Anakin, and Luke, without a doubt. Uh, one of my favorite dark side characters in the Star Wars universe. So to hear his laughter at the very end for the first time a couple of days ago, I gotta tell you guys, I was so happy to hear that. I could not believe that they threw that in and had Ian McDermott go on stage saying, roll it again. It was perfect, it was legendary, and it's pretty much you know, becoming a thing now on the internet that people are using. 
So, I want to go over the last bit here, though, that really does intrigue me a lot, is that this plot device will be significant to the story that is connected to Palpatine, and will change certain lore in the Skywalker Saga and in the general canon. Now, this could be a hint towards Essence Transfer being added into the Star Wars universe under Disney. And that, to me, I think would be a very interesting move by Disney and Lucasfilm. Could be a risk for sure, absolutely. But I think that the fact that this is the final film of the Skywalker Saga and that J.J. is going out with a bang, you can only imagine what he wants to introduce. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.